is an ability that's extremely undervalued. I think versus a hero like Morphling, it could be pretty brutal. Mm. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that was the well, case. LGD was one year, but they did win. Yeah, yeah third place, I believe. We're going to see a skewer here from Faith Beyond. White Mon in quite a bit of trouble. I think he's resigned to his own death here, but Jin Q might get right clicked down by 23 Savage as well. Looks like it'll end up being likely a trade of sources. Faith Beyond just needs a couple more right clicks with that shockwave. So a one for one, but first blood is the way of T1. Yeah. It's so hard with the Quelling Blade plus Empower bonus. Aw, oh, they might kill Savage Hill almost. GQ. Quite low. They're going to turn this around. Though. And the Jin Q. Waveform. Couple more oh. right clicks. Down he goes again. Uncharacteristic. I could see what he was going for there. Thought he had the burst, but then the punish. Chemical amount by any means, but the fact that it's even that point is crazy. Considering it's a DK versus. Here, Chen C is behind He's going to connect. Cuckoo. He's done. So PSG LGD evens it up in terms of the kills, but you can see there's still a 1k net worth lead for them. I mean, like a theory crafting, just as a TB game overall. Um, I would say it's pretty damn good. Uh, the one hero you picked into that... Oh, hang on. Yep. Mid lane. Dragon form. Why? In the vicinity. Swarm comes out as well, but a nice LSA. Carl has his ult and nothing to say. It will drop as a result. And why? Taking some right clicks as well. So double kill for Carl. Nice rotations from T1 overall. Jin Q going to get caught by the Frostbite. This could be a triple kill for Carl. Indeed wow, it nice is. Move. Talk about a bounce back for T1. You know, has been traditionally a counter pick actually to Terra Blade. Yeah. Uh, but they do choose to pick it in. So it largely because of what I think, uh, largely I think because of what BSJ said. Oh, this the is a very good initiation. Why gets off the nightmare? Nothing to say is in his dragon form as well. You can see White Mine taking most of the damage here, but then there's the duel. Carl doesn't have that much mana to expend, but the LSA should be enough. Is nothing to say. Takes another death in this game. Again, great rotations from T1, despite them being the ones getting initiated on. Ame still at top of the net worths right now. Uh, Carl working on the Boots of Travel as 23 Savage now in the jungle. Uh, White Mon, Nightmare. Yeah, might be shown here the Nightmare Frostbite Exchange. 23 Savage, double cookie. <laughs> White Mon will fall first, and 23 Savage did turn into that Snapfire, but he's in a 1v3 situation. Gets skewered to the other side, still has Waveform. We'll be going into the cover of the arms of Carl, who gets off Laguna Blade, but no resulting kill here. Ability. Like, nothing to say. I just talked about how different of a role that is, technically speaking. And, oh, we're going to see the stop. Oh, the, the Fiend's grip. Cuckoo. Very unlucky. And that's going to be a kill going the way of Ame again. 3v1. Yeah. Very sad. That Centaur is, has something, some other agendas on the mind, no doubt. Yep. But, oh, we might see some action in this top lane. Nothing to say. I mean, Dragon Knight's not really one of those heroes that's going to take up that much space farming, so that leaves Faith Beyond to get oh, really big. There's the stun into the RP. Do they have enough damage to take out the Morphling? Yes, indeed they do. And T1 burning. absolutely getting crushed right now. 3k net worth lead. Nightmare. Do they have the vision? Yep. The time lapse in place just for the HP, but double kill goes the way of Jin Q. And a tier one tower to fall as well. But Talk. item here for farming speed, and you can. I don't think it's not much to dispel. So yeah, exactly. It's not much to dispel. This frostbite, but you're gonna play around that. Probably. Oh, nothing oh. to say. Spots the smoke, blinks in, get the initiation. It's just white mon. So at the very least for T1, that's a. Being the opening on him, so basically just a safe breaker there, and with superior vision right now in this area. Kukro's kind of potentially thinking about this. They will see the one. Oh! RP, RP was it canceled at the very least, but it's going to cost Faith beyond his life. I don't Great know if that reaction. was just perfect timing or if that was actual reaction. Overwhelming odds comes out. Carl continuing to chase. Don't think they want to go high ground. A little bit too sketchy. Absolutely. Only a 25-second death timer. So not enough time to really go for Roche, but the smoke from T1 trying to wrap around. But you can see the position from BSG LGD. There is the initiation. That's going to be the first dual victory for Cuckoo. And when it's this early in the game, it's really... Ward pre-placed had, had his finger on the blink button and got out. And, all right, only 1k lead now for PSG LGD. That was the biggest gold swing that T1 have had go their way in the entire game. Yep, absolutely. As we're going to see White Mon oh. get picked off. Oh, RP. Oh, RP. Nice press. Okay. Well, that didn't result in much. And here's the duel onto the Dragon Knight. I don't know that one. White Mon, but it looks like the damage is going to go the way of the Dragon instead. It will be a trade of lives, though. And that is a dieback on the White Mon. And we'll see if this is enough for PSG LGD to try to go into the Roche pit. 
the main stage sent yeah. her in. Yeah, it was For a nice graphic. For God's sake. Graphic was the word. I, it, it came to me in my Art. In a dire moment of need here. Uh, what do I think about the win expectancy being 2-1? Uh, oh. You're going to have to hold that thought. we got a duel coming in. All right. And Cuckoo gets some more damage. Oh. Okay, that's a random centaur from the Helm of the Dominator from Mr. Right, Magnus. They're gonna go for this. They know there's no RP. Yeah. And Another 10 seconds though, so it's not. It's coming in a bit close. Oh, oh we got toss. the horn toss. White Mon dead again. It's just racking up these deaths, but Cuckoo and company. Eblay is not gonna be enough to take out Faith Beyond. He's gonna have RP now. Zephyr taking quite a bit of damage, but will back up to safety. And I think. Looking like a potential PSGLGD Roche. Yes. Five seconds on Metamorphosis. And they're smoking. They have RP, and they do have a really good ward here. Oh, yep. oh. oh Carl gets Dragon Tail, but there's the press the attack save. 23 oh. Savage able to blow up wide. Does have buyback, though. There's the skewer back into the Laguna Blade. They're not going to be able to get the kill, but it's going to be a trade either way. Magnus not able to get off his RP. Pretty big deal, but a big cookie from Jin Q. The follow-up from Nothing to Say. They will have enough damage to tear through him. 65 seconds of no Lena. That shard hitting a, a nutty one of those, and that one another high impact play, stun into stun into stun into death. Yeah, they probably had all oh, another stun. dragon tail. Yeah. The save is not enough though. Press the attack. Usually a fail save, not this time around. Just too much damage to work with on LGD side. Seconds of ulti there. Very good. He could but actually still like just you die. said. It's a terribly either well way, they have two BKP piercing stuns. Yeah. If you get you one of those about. on the maiden, you're probably happy though. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Oh, we have Dragon initiation Knight. from nothing to say. Dragon Tail, Faith Beyond, skewers back into the fray. An easy pickoff for LGD again. Still holding that Aegis for another three minutes. 25 minutes. You have Aegis. You have all your cooldowns. Yeah, why not? Dragon Form is still out, online. Though. There's the metamorphosis, and the tower is going to fall very, very no, quickly. No, your base is burning. Hello. Yeah. Hello. No fortification available either. They're actually just giving this lane up because Cuckoo's dead. They, they can't defend. Yeah. Can't blame them. Still two minutes on that Aegis. So like you said, it about two seconds into the push, but they're just oh so confident. My. Oh, he gets the nightmare off. That's the Aether Lens. Look at that ridiculous range. Of course, has Fiend's Grip if they really need it, but it doesn't look like it'll come to be. Oh, press the attack. They're actually going to expend RP. This is a really important kill. Oh, Lina, finally taken out. Does take confused. quite a bit, but nice catch there by Wa. Scared of the grip. I think uh, Y canceled it very, very quickly. Yeah, that's a big pick on Carl and LGD. Just straight down mid. Yep, still a minute seconds. to burn. They want to force the buyback, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Can't blame them. The e All right, they get it. Yeah, DK looks fine for now, but there's the duel. Can they save him? Carl pops a BKB, trying to create as much space on the sideline as possible. Laguna Blade blows up the Bane in the meantime. Eventually, Cuckoo does fall. It's a two for two with the buyback now onto Carl. And with that PSG LGD, we'll back away. Oh, they horn find toss. the horn toss off to Zephyr and get the time lapse off up the full HP again. You should still be channeling. If you do get time lapse, it sticks mm -hmm. on you basically, but the repositioning can be easily enough to save you, especially against Terrorblade. Oh, Zephyr. Yeah. Hello. Showing here. Yeah, oh, the shard into the cookie. Goodbye. He talked about the power of Jin Q shard and went. Oh boy, that's, that's an insult, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Uh, maybe you get the demon zeal. I'm not sure actually this game. This is could go for yeah, the, the dragon that one's okay. I actually think they're gonna give him uh, the zeal here. Alright, yep, there it is. Yep. He will consume it. So demon zeal. Basically costing twenty percent of uh, TB's HP and you get move along. And especially yeah. when combined like we talked about with the empower can I mean not that he's having trouble farming right now, Syndrome, but this will yeah. add it to another level. Is Faith Beyond? We'll get the skewer up into the dragon tail and white mon again. The crowd goes wild. Yeah. They really like all of that health left. My health back right in. And here we go. And here we have meta popped again. Oh, or Carlos in position. Oh, the yeah. skewer back with the horn toss set up into the oh. RP, but no. Press the attack waveform is enough to bait out the RP. And T1, See if they want to try to take advantage of this. I mean, they're going to have to if this continues to go in LGD's favor with this push. E-Blade on Tommy. You can see the jump in from nothing to say with an overwhelming blink being shown as Carl has to pop his BKB. And there is the duel. Do they have enough damage? But the Sunder from Ave allowing the duel victory.
victory, the go the way of nothing to say. He's just gonna walk that one off, but 23 Savage can't so walk that hard. one off. That is just too much damage to with hand. And Carl jumps in. This is gonna be the beginning of the end, I do believe, although two buybacks come up for T1. And the Metamorphosis is running out, but again, he has Demon Seal to work with. Bane's gonna take a tumble, White Mon drops to the deck as well, one for one. Laguna Blade, Ave getting extremely low. That's just the Aegis though, Carl completely out of mana. Nothing to say, is still alive throughout all this, some way, somehow. Just gonna play all the pressure to the racks here. This will be a dieback onto Carl. All the and it looks like that there. is gonna be enough to GG out of game one. Uh -huh. And like we talked about, Cinder and T1 have looked really good. At